How did Emerson Manangagwa, a man once expelled from his party and forced into exile, ascend to the highest office in Zimbabwe? The story of Manangagwa's rise to power is one filled with intrigue, resilience and strategic manoeuvring. Emerson Manangagwa, born in 1942, was a key figure in Zimbabwe's liberation struggle. His political career began in the 1960s when he joined the Zimbabwe African National Union, or ZANU, a political party dedicated to ending colonial rule in Rhodesia, now known as Zimbabwe. Manangagwa's dedication to the cause saw him rise through the ranks, becoming a close confidant of Robert Mugabe, the leader of ZANU. In 1980, when Zimbabwe gained independence, Manangagwa was appointed Minister of State Security. His unwavering loyalty to Mugabe earned him the nickname the Crocodile, a creature known for its patience and ruthlessness. Over the years, Manangagwa held several ministerial positions, solidifying his place within Zimbabwe's political elite. However, the road to power was not smooth. In 2014, Manangagwa was ousted from his position as vice president, a move widely seen as an attempt by Mugabe to pave the way for his wife Grace to succeed him. This expulsion forced Manangagwa into exile, but like a true crocodile, he patiently waited for the right moment to strike back. In 2017, the tables turned dramatically. The military staged a coup, placing Mugabe under house arrest. They appointed Mnangagwa as interim president, marking a new era in Zimbabwe's political history. Following a controversial election in 2018, Mnangagwa secured his position as president, promising economic revival and political reform. As president, Mnangagwa has faced numerous challenges, including high inflation and currency devaluation. His administration has introduced measures such as minting gold coins and tripling lending rates in an attempt to stabilize the economy. However, these efforts have been met with skepticism and concern over their effectiveness. Moreover, Manangagwa's tenure has been marred by allegations of political manipulation and increasing authoritarianism. Critics argue that his governing party, ZANU-PF, is attempting to establish a one-party state by disqualifying opposition lawmakers without proper procedures. In summary, Emerson Nangagwa's rise to power is a tale of resilience and strategic manoeuvring. From his early involvement in the liberation struggle to his current position as president, Manangagwa has demonstrated a knack for political survival. However, his leadership has been fraught with challenges and criticisms, casting a shadow over his tenure. As Zimbabwe navigates its future, the world watches with keen interest.